Hello everyone, welcome again to the channel. Today I want to share with you some, some uh, information that is related to the latest um, trip of uh, Vladimir Putin to Iran, where he met with um, the president and the leaders of uh, Iran, as well as um, with Erdogan, the president of um, Turkey. So let's get over some of the things that they discuss. Uh, first, um, let's go and take a look at this one. Um, during the visit, it was agreed that um, the Iranian companies and Gazprom will sign a primary deal for energy cooperation. So this is a great deal. So the National Iranian Oil Company and Gazprom signed um, let's say a preliminary deal that is uh, estimated to cost about uh, 40 billion US dollars and is going to allow the development of um, gas fields and oil fields and uh, this will be really great and they, um, for the economy of both countries and they are supposed to be involved also in the completion of uh, liquefied natural gas projects and they want to help them construct uh, some uh, gas lines for export and uh, for oil as well. So if, if you know, Iran sits in the world's second largest gas reserves after Russia. And that's uh, huge, really, if you consider that Russia is a much, uh, a much bigger country than Iran. So that's good news for Russia, very constructive uh, negotiations, I think. This will be very positive both uh, for Russia and for Iran. As you have seen in the in the past, uh, Iran and Russia are always cooperating, are always working together, helping each other in different uh, different theaters. Uh, whether it is uh, working together in Syria or working to find solutions to to common goals common problems, so it is uh, very constructive in my opinion. And as you know, this is uh, one of the few visits that uh, President uh, Putin has done uh, recently to outside of uh, Russia. The previous uh, trip was to Turkmenistan and he was also in Tajikistan, so that that is significant uh, if we take into consideration this um, recent plan that they have. Well, maybe it's not so recent, but it is uh, recently has become more uh, relevant for Russia. So it is called the International North-South Transport Corridor, or INSTC. And this corridor is uh, promoting an alternate route. So the official route is um, that is uh, all transport is going from the Baltic Sea all the way across the North Sea, then to the Mediterranean, down the Red Sea, and back to India. So this alternate uh, route will go across Russia up to the port of Astrakhan and then will cross the Caspian Sea. It is possible that it will have some uh, intermediate points. So here is Baku, Baku is in uh, Azerbaijan and here is also Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan is one of the countries that he also visited recently and here is also Kazakhstan, so Kazakhstan can also benefit from this from the access to this route. As you know, Kazakhstan is line locked, so this will be great also for for Kazakhstan, for Turkmenistan, Azerbaijan, of course for Iran. I think even uh, Afghanistan is also interested in participating in this uh, this deal as well. So that is going to be something positive for, for everyone here. And um, not only this route is shorter in time, but it's uh, cheaper to, to transport through this, and it's also sanctions free. 
so it goes only through friendly countries so there is no chance of uh, blocking it or provoking some kind of problems for for this uh, particular situation here so that is uh, something very positive and uh, it is uh, why uh, President Putin has been visiting countries in this region so this is uh, of interest to everyone that is involved in this, uh, in this area so that was one of the reasons why he was visiting also Iran and uh, maybe even Turkey could be interested in this you know it's very close even though it needs to go through um, well it is uh, the border with Iran so maybe even even Turkey could benefit from this route even though it's not explicitly mentioned so that's one of the things they were doing and during the visit it was uh, a very productive visit and also of course uh, some political statements were done uh, were made for example the leader of Iran was saying that uh, he supported uh, Russia and he understood the situation even the situation in Ukraine and he says that uh, the West is opposing an independent and strong Russia and he understand that it was a NATO threat that was coming to their borders uh, so I think that is uh, the the most uh, open show of support for any country that has been done probably outside of uh, Syria and North Korea very few countries have openly supported every action of the Russian government and also um, Turkey has played a very interesting role because it has uh, resisted the pressure to impose sanctions on Russia so has been neutral has sustained itself as neutral and this is a mutually beneficial relationship uh, both Turkey and uh, Russia benefit from this relation so they they both win from this so it's a win-win situation they were also talking about the grain talks uh, that took place in Istanbul between uh, Russia and Ukraine and it, they made some very interesting clarification says that uh, Moscow will accept a deal to facilitate Ukrainian grain shipments if the West lifts restrictions on Russian grain exports so it is the prerequisite so even if Ukraine agrees to it which in principle has already done this will only go through if the the Western powers will con will support this uh, as you know officially the um, grain shipments are not uh, banned or subject to sanctions but uh, there are a lot of other supplementary sanctions that make it impossible for Russia to export grain so Russia wants all those restrictions lifted As a, uh, currently there is also no restriction on um, on fertilizer but there are other additional restrictions that make it uh, difficult for companies to deal with Russia so that is also something that uh, probably should be taken care of and also they they were talking about some of the situations that are common to them uh, for example if you know they they are also interested in finding a solution to the issue in Syria so both um, Iran and Turkey have an interest in getting Syria issue solved as you know Turkey wants to get um, the forces that are occupying especially the north uh, especially I think it is the northwest where are the Turkish back force which are the forces that are also there stationed with the United States so Turkey wants those out Syria wants those out Iran wants them out nobody wants them there nobody supports them only the United States that's what the United States is doing is just creating problems for anyone and everyone and recently there was even this story about um, how Russia blocked um, United Nations proposal to give aid to the rebels on this area and they banned it because they wanted the region to be open for help for one year 
and Russia said that no, only for six months. And the reason for this is um, it has multiple reasons. One of them is that uh, they want to do this without the involvement of the Syrian government. They want to do it independently. So they want to make the region uh, de facto independent and Russia doesn't favor that. Apart from that, um, there are some uh, uh, stories about um, how the actual the, the rebels steal the help and sell it later at a higher price to the people. So I, the people living in this region don't, don't actually benefit from it. So Russia says that the best solution will be if the Syrian government actually participated in this, but uh, every government uh, that is uh, proposing this, especially the Western powers, are against it, because uh, this also allows for the introduction of weapons into the region. No? So that's why they want this uh, pretext to, to send help, but also they want to do it independently so that Syria cannot uh, inspect the shipments so if some weapons can be uh, introduced to the area. So that's uh, part of the reason why this is uh, being done. And as you know, uh, Israel and Arab countries, including the United States, is trying to push against, um, against Iran. So at the same time, uh, Russia is uh, supporting Iran they are trying to work together, help each other, and uh, Russia is uh, also supporting the, the Iran deal, the, the nuclear deal. So this is uh, also something very positive. Um, actually, uh, Russia is a good actor internationally. When they meet, for example, this is a trilateral meeting, and they are meeting with Turkey, with Iran and Russia, and they are talking business. They are not talking about war. Like United States, everywhere they go, is they are all they are talking is about war, uh, war alliances, uh, something about uh, weapons. Everything is always about destruction. It is uh, completely different, but people for some reason don't see it. You know. So it is interesting that even the three of them agreed on, on something about Syria, so they want the issue solved and they agreed on how it should be solved through diplomacy and they want to have all those rebels um, expelled from that region so that the Syrian government can regain independence. So they want all the terrorists uh, removed from that area. So what else? Um, I think what they say is uh, this, uh, the latest part they say is all parties urge expelling American forces from Syria because we know what they are doing there. They are uh, stealing the oil from Syria. They are uh, preventing the people of Syria from reaching the benefits of their own oil. So that is just uh, occupation, illegal occupation. Uh, nobody called them, nobody invited them. They themselves created the terrorists, and now they are complaining about all this. So, so that's the situation. I think it was uh, something positive for the region, uh, positive for everyone involved. So let me know what you think about it. And I want to remind you of the opportunity to support my work as content creator through different platforms. I include this information in the description of every video and you can decide uh, which option is uh, more convenient for you. And you can also support my work by liking this video, sharing it in social media and subscribing to the channel. Uh, so that will really help me a lot. I need to help uh, to have uh, my channel grow. So that's all. I hope to see you again very soon and thank you for watching this video.